Today I will be explaining how I did this uh, tank here, which is inspired by this work and made by this uh, artist right here. As you can see, it's very uh, simple, it's nothing complex. So let's start. So first of all, let's create the, the render. And let us uh, split the view so we can get a better look at it. Let's make the render uh, vertical. So just switch the values here. And then also here. Then let's create the cylinder. So use the tube uh, sop and create a geometry like this and make it uh, like 10 on the height and since we want the tube to start on the zero axis we can just reference this on the ty value and uh, make it uh, subtract and half of the uh, height so if we then increase or decrease it will always stay on the zero axis so now we can create uh, the, the textures I did this by using the ramp top and you can just uh, make the colors you like so like this vertical and create uh, a bunch of them okay so after you create them we will uh, merge them on the layout top and make it uh, grid rows and fill so I created uh, 10 uh, ramps and then I put them on a layout and then just make a null and a constant mat Put it on the color map and then here on the material. Now we can also use a texture sop to fix the how it looks. So we can put it on the face and then here. Just uh, mess with the values until you get a nice result. So something like this maybe. Now to get a better perspective we can uh, change the rotation. So since we want the the pivot points to be always on the center we can instead of rotating like this we can uh, use this value here and reference that on the pivot point and make it uh, negative so now it will always look on the center and let's change this to orthographic and make it something like this okay. 
Now we will use uh, instances to create uh, more uh, tubes so we can check the instances and let's create a constant job and let's name this uh, steps so this will be how many uh, instances that we will have we can create three uh, for starting and then let's create a pattern and this will be our uh, scale so we can uh, reference this the steps on the length and make that a ramp Now we can use this as a uh, default instance stop and on the scale on the x and z value let's use the the letter s which is this one and then we can uh, instead of going from 0 to 1 we can change the values here so change it to your liking I will something like this now let's create another one and this will be our uh, ty value then we can merge it later like this and now let's use it on here and then we can fix the values again so something like this we can uh, also change the background so let's do that right now with the transform just make it white Turn on the alpha and here. Now for the rotation, uh, we can create another uh, pattern and then merge it. And now this one it will be a sign instead of a ramp. So let's, uh, this will be on the y axis. Mm, yeah. Here. So now for the rotation, we will need um, an LFO to animate the rotation. So set this to ramp and lower the frequency a bit. Like this. Then we can put this on the face and now instead of going from 0 to 1 degrees we can go from 0 to 360 and now we can just change the angle a bit of the, the camera And you can add more steps, so like this. You can create uh, different types of rotation if we change here. So, like the triangle, ramp, square. We can also, instead of using this uh, linear uh, ramp, we can use um, an S-curve so this will be more like the smooth so if we change this to S and then 
use the same values here. So I'll just copy the here and like this. And also use these steps and replace the S curve. You can see that it creates like a more smooth curve. And then to fix this, you can just increase the detail. So don't write 100 or maybe. Yeah, so something like this.